President Donald Trump tweeted on Tuesday morning that the New York Times set little Bob Corker up by recording his conversation. But by Tuesday afternoon, the Times had released audio of the senator explicitly asking for his bombshell interview, published Sunday, to be recorded. I know they're recording it, Corker said of his aides who were on the line with him along with a Times reporter. And I hope you are, too. In that interview, which followed a scathing back and forth between Trump and Corker earlier in the day, Corker suggested that Trump's actions could prompt World War III and said he did not know why the president tweets out things that are not true. You know he does it, everyone knows he does it, but he does, said Corker, the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The Tennessee Republican, who recently announced he would not seek re-election in 2018, has become increasingly critical of the president in recent months. Trump tweeted on Sunday that he denied the senator his endorsement and rejected him as a candidate for Secretary of State, blaming Corker for passage of the Iran nuclear deal and adding that the senator didnt had the guts to run for re-election. Corker fired back, saying Trump's claim was entirely false and that it was a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. He concerns me, Corker told the Times of Trump. He would have to concern anyone who cares about our nation. Corker added I don't think he appreciates that when a president of the United States speaks and says the things that he does, the impact that it has around the world, especially in the region that helps, addressing. And so, yeah, it's concerning to me. Site highlights each day to your inbox. Follow Business Insider Australia on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram.